Back, back with Jimmy Howard. I used there to find the closest player to LeBron in the entire NBA. They use that that app, that little app or um website. I like that website. Watching this yeah, I forgot what's called though. Help but to think now more than ever, LeBron is an absolute anomaly. Truly a one of one. In the NBA's near 80 year history, there's never been a player quite like him. I mean, go through the laundry list of players, both past and present, who have drawn comparisons, and none of them are all that similar to LeBron. An unfair blend of size and speed, the strength of a big with the skills of a guard, an alleged pass first player who bulldozed his way to the most points in NBA history. And all of this got me thinking. Who is the most similar player to LeBron? Paul, in Joe, the Aaron, Gordon, Paolo. Right now, it's a question. Scotty. Always wanted to know the answer to. And after spending uh, countless hours looking at the data, what the hell? Why do you guys close to LeBron? From all around the league to LeBron, from the Trey Young. Where's Trey Young at? To the side. Put a Trey. Put a six eight Trey Young next to LeBron. See what's gonna happen. The shooting, the play style. I finally have the answer. And the most similar player to LeBron. Is not who you think it is. Six eight Trey Young. Sponsored by DraftKings. I'm moving the damn boom boom boom. It's a six eight Trey Young. Boom 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 boom. Have a boom man. Have a boom man. Have a boom man. Have a boom man. Have a my nose is itching. Have a boom back, Jimmy. Have a boom. No. All right. Quick. Off the top of your head, of all the active players currently in the NBA, who reminds you most of LeBron James? Of course, not including himself. Who is the most similar to him? I'm sure among some of the names that come to mind, Paulo Bencaro, Zion Williamson, what remains of Ben Simmons, and Luka. Oh, yeah, it was Ben Simmons or Luka. It was Ben Simmons. When he was the 76, it was Ben Simmons. Then uh, 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 now it's Luka are all viable candidates but even those guys despite being the closest thing are not really all that similar to lebron How? Paolo isn't as offensively dynamic as a young lebron was zion isn't as good or willing yeah. of a passer luca isn't nearly yeah. as explosive and ben simmons has pretty he doesn't play basketball anymore he, he, he was going they called him next that's why he went number one overall because he was i liked him right he won my favorite players in the league when he was a philly but he missed past the point and left, and it wasn't the same, bro. You let Trey Young. Dang, Trey Young's after all his confidence out of his body. Now he can't play basketball anymore. What do you do? He just goes to the Met Gal and sits on a bench with the NBA team. He much stopped playing basketball altogether. Oddly enough, LeBron's game isn't even that unique. A do-it-all Swiss Army knife point forward. If anything, in today's positionless league, this archetype of player is the most common. And yet, somehow, after 21 years, not only have Dang. we not come across a single player who can do it as well as him, we have yet to see a player with a game that even resembles LeBron's. But why is that? In fact, with a game as relatively simple and effective as LeBron's, why has there not been a single player in the NBA who plays like him? This series of questions led me down a long and exhausting rabbit hole. It was me because me. I play like him on 2K. I believe to be the most extensive look into this topic. Who is the most similar player to LeBron James? Now, usually whenever this question comes up, the most common and possibly accurate answer involves combining two different players. A hybrid. Many fans have said LeBron is a mix between Magic Johnson and Scottie Pippen. The skills of Grant Hill with the frame of a power forward. Tracy McGrady and Carl Malone's body. CraftedNBA.com has Crafted NBA, that's the site, Crafted NBA. Great tool called Doppelgangers, which uses an extensive batch of metrics to find similar players throughout the NBA. But this tool specifically looks at the results of a player's game without looking at the method in which they got those results, which is an important distinction. For example, Kevin Durant and Bam Adebayo had the same field goal percentage last season, but the shots they took to get there were wildly different. Uh -huh. to find real similarity, the method is just as important as the result. And so I decided to take matters into my own hands. And after hours of research, metric-based analysis, and data crunching in an attempt to solve this age-old question, I think I have the answer. What is it? An almost definitive conclusion on the most similar player to LeBron in the NBA today. And Win I me? guarantee the player who came out ahead of everyone else 
is not who you think it is. You're not even First, in the NBA. Raj, you're not even in the NBA. Reduce the entire league down to the players who had even an ounce of resemblance to LeBron and his game. Floor generals, oversized guards, hyper-athletic players, slashers, players who are just really good, bigs with guard skills, the do-it-all Swiss army knives, high usage guys, and because why not, Victor Wembanyama. Eventually, I was able to narrow down the list of players included in our experiment to about 70. Of those 70 players, here are the ones that scored the- It would be OG Ananobi, but he just don't have that star power. That's the problem. If OG Ananobi was a star power, he'll be the next LeBron. Highest in similarity to LeBron. Now, how exactly did I quantify similarity throughout this process? Or J-Dub. Well, first, I had to determine the metrics in which I wanted to measure. And here are those metrics. Stature, usage and creation, shooting tendencies, portability, passing, defense, athleticism, portability, dominance, shooting ability, and play style. Ten isolated metrics that factor in each and every aspect of LeBron's game. Finding the similarities between him and any other player was the easy part. For example, take passing, which can be measured fairly accurately with passer rating, a metric that measures how frequent, effective, and efficient a player passes the ball. The metric is on a scale from 1 to 10, and LeBron's career passer rating is 7.67. That's really good. James Harden has a career passer rating of 7.37. That is also really good. Jalen Brown has a career passer rating of 3.24. And that's not so negative good. to quantify just how negative. similar these two players are to LeBron in terms of passing. We just need to figure out how much their passer rating deviates from LeBron's. In this case, James Harden's passer rating only deviates from LeBron's by 3.9%, while Jalen Brown's passer rating deviates by 57.8%. This would give Harden a passing similarity score of 96.1% and Jalen Brown a similarity score of 42.2%. By using this method of measurement, I calculated the similarity score of every player in our experiment across all 10 previously mentioned categories. I then tallied up their total score to find the overall most similar player to LeBron. The player with the highest score after evaluating all 10 categories is the player that shares the most in common with him. So now that you know the method, let's see the results. Now the first Old man Brown, Brown. we're going to take a look at is stature. If we were put to the task of building a basketball player in a lab with the ideal NBA frame, he would probably come out looking like LeBron. 6'9", 250 pounds with a 7 foot wingspan. In fact, here are his exact measurements Fact. courtesy of CraftedNBA.com. Measurements you would usually find in a power forward. And that's exactly the type of players that share the most in common with LeBron in terms of physical frame. Among the players we are evaluating, the one that has the most similar frame to LeBron is Paulo Bencaro, whose yeah. measurements are almost identical to LeBron's with a similarity score of 99.1%. From his height From body, to his yeah. weight and wingspan, the next closest players are Julius Randle. Paulo ain't seven feet tall. Hell, no, he ain't seven feet tall. Paulo, I wonder Paulo, you grew? This man, Kevin Durant grew two inches during the NBA season. Ben Simmons, Alprin Sengun, and DeMontis Sabonis. Bro, yeah, Ben Simmons was right there too, bro. It would have been Ben Simmons. You asked, asked this question probably about like in 2000, so in, in 2019, it probably would have been Ben Simmons. Although I will only be displaying the results of 20 to 30 players per category, each individual score is being factored in. <laughs> got Tobias Harris on the list. <laughs> now, in terms of shooting, not efficiency, but rather where players choose to operate on offense and take their shots, there aren't many players around the league that are very similar to LeBron. He's got the size of a power forward, and he uses that size to get to the rim and attempt 35% of his shots within three feet of the basket. But he also attempts nearly a quarter of his shots from behind the three-point line. Players with shot selections this balanced are pretty rare. Take, for example, a player like Zion Williamson, who has the oh, physical tools the like LeBron, but he does the majority of his work yep. right around the basket. You Nigga like me on my career, buddy, I'm playing on rookie difficulty with the 60 overall. Nothing but layups. Nothing but layups. Nothing but layups. A player like Jason Tatum might be similar to LeBron in this aspect with how well-rounded his arsenal of shots can be, but he tends to favor three-point shooting above yep. any other shot. So yep, the Draymond even told him that you shoot too much. To shot selection, the player that is most similar to LeBron throughout the entire NBA is actually Russell Westbrook, whose shot selection only deviates from LeBron's by about 8%. The next closest player is Julius Randle, followed by Jimmy yes! Butler, Paulo Bencaro, and Andrew Wiggins, who, all similar to LeBron, have extremely balanced shot selections.
Now, one of LeBron's most valuable and distinctive traits is his versatility as a player. One of his most underrated accomplishments is that he is the only player in NBA history to be listed at all five positions for at least a season. And there's he was a shooting guard. Brian Frey, shooting guard. He was a shooting guard. at all five positions for at least a season and there's actually a metric that makes an attempt to measure this adaptability Ooh, called they cross them up. this metric collects data like passer rating shooting ability ball dominance and usage as well as defensive versatility and calculates how portable a player is within any given system in other words, how well would a player fit if you dropped him into a team with 14 random players? The metric is on a scale from 1 to 10, where 10 is a perfect score. LeBron has a career portability rating of 7.82, and the most similar players to LeBron in this regard are Chris Paul and Jason Tatum, who are both nearly identical to LeBron with similarity scores of 9.8%. The next closest players KD. are Kevin Durant, Kawhi Leonard, and James Harden. It's worth noting that there are players around the league who are even more portable than LeBron has been throughout his career, such as Kawhi, Harden, Paul George, and Nikola Jokic. But you can't really be like LeBron if you aren't willing and great at passing the ball. So the next metric we're assessing is passer rating. This metric, similar to a few others, are on a scale from 1 to 10, with of course 10 being the best possible rating. Now, throughout his career, LeBron has had a passer rating of 7.67, and the player most similar to him in this metric is once again Russell Westbrook, who has the same exact career passer rating as LeBron. 100%? Does. He has the exact same, the exact same. Then you went to Purdue. I know you went to Purdue. 100% in similarity. That's right. The next most similar players are Josh Giddy, Luka Doncic, John Moran, the Giddy Monster. and James Harden. And already you can begin to see just how diverse LeBron's skills are. In some categories, he has most in common with big men, while in other categories, he resembles a guard. Which leads us to our next category and the most important aspect of LeBron's game, usage and creation. Throughout LeBron's career, he has been the engine to every offense he's been a part of, not just with his scoring, but with his playmaking. And to measure this, we can use three different metrics, box creation estimate, offensive load, and usage percentage. And this is where LeBron really becomes an anomaly. Players of his size have historically done well generating offense for themselves, but usually it takes a ball dominant guard to really carry the load of an entire offense the way LeBron has throughout his career. Which is why if we search for the most similar players- Here in come Luca. Metrics, Luca's about to come in. find point guards. Russell Westbrook- Oh, oh Russ again! He has more like LeBron. John Morant and James Harden. Hey, how come Russ ain't the GOAT then? Similar to LeBron Look in terms you. of their usage and creation on offense. However, there are some bigs who have transcended their positional value, such as Nicole Is he going to be like Todd Barkley? Is Russ going to be like Todd Barkley, the ringless GOAT? Russ, Russ right now, he's a ringless GOAT right now, but I can change the season. Joel Embiid and Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now, defensively, LeBron's career hasn't been nearly as consistent. At his peak, he was a phenomenal defender, one of the best in the entire league. But in recent years, he has games where he can be a flat-out liability on the defensive end. And although defense can be a difficult thing to measure, there are a couple metrics that might be able to point us in the right direction in our search for the most similar player to LeBron. Specifically, defensive versatility rating and crafted defensive plus minus are the two metrics we'll be using here. Throughout his career, LeBron has a defensive versatility rating of 60.3 and a crafted defensive plus minus of 1.38. Career defensive numbers that are actually really good, especially for an offensive player of his caliber. And with these two metrics, we can find the player who is most similar to LeBron defensively, both in quality and versatility. And after crunching the numbers, that player is Chris Paul, with a similarity score of 88.2%, followed by Amen Thompson, Jimmy Butler, Giannis, and Ben Simmons. Oddly enough, despite LeBron not being considered an elite defender for years now, statistically, throughout his career as a whole, he is most comparable to some of the most valuable defensive players in the league. Our next category is what I believe to be the most indicative of measuring similarities from player to player. And that CP3? is play style. What role they play on the CP3 can play, but Pat Beverly said he's a cone. 
offense, where they find the most value while on the court, and their habits both on and off. The little, look, he did the little old man job. The most value huh. while on the court, and their habits both on and off the ball. Now, quantifying a player's play style is tough to do. What do you measure, and how do you measure it? Well, on CraftedNBA.com, within each player's profile, there is a breakdown of their usage by play type. These plays range from ISO possessions to pick and roll as both the ball handler and the roll man, the post, off ball cuts, handoffs, screens, and spot up. These eight play types are essentially the eight major different roles a player can play on any given possession. In LeBron's case, four of these eight different play types make up for the majority of all of his possessions on offense. Post possessions, spot up shooting, ISO possessions, and his ISO favorite, ball. pick and rolls as the ball handler. Now, if we take a look at these four play types, and search for the players with the most similar usage percentage across all four, then the player that has the most similar play style to LeBron is Jimmy Butler, who surprisingly shares many of the same habits, both in usage and play type, especially in ISO, pick and roll, and post possessions. The next most similar players to LeBron in this category were Giannis, Jason Tatum, Durant, and Jalen Brown. You know, J Tatum, no, Tatum and ISO highs. You no, know, Tatum ISO is highs. Versatile wings that can generate offense from just about anywhere on the court. Now, athleticism is extremely difficult to measure in the NBA. Jumping high and running fast are feats of athleticism, but so are hand-eye coordination, stamina, and body control. And LeBron's athleticism is a key aspect of his abilities as a player, specifically in regards to his explosiveness. But unless you can get out there with a measuring tape and a stopwatch and grab some marks, it's almost impossible to really get an idea of how athletic LeBron is, or any player is for that matter. So that's exactly what we're going to do, by looking at each player's vertical leap. Now, although this is only one very simple way of measuring an athlete's explosiveness, Max Vertical Leap is proven to be an effective gauge at doing just that. And it's an insightful metric in this context Dang. since LeBron's Vertical Leap has been a massive component to his game throughout the majority of his career. And according to countless sources, at his peak, LeBron had a Max Vert somewhere between 40 and 44 inches. After all these years, there's been no real confirmation on these numbers, but every single source I could find has has his Yo, did LeBron go to the draft combo? Did LeBron have a draft combo? Listed somewhere between 40 and 44. So you, you, know, you saw that? Look, look, Muggsy Boggs, bro. Listed. Muggsy, shortest player in NBA history, 5'3", had a 44-inch vert. That's crazy. Somewhere between. How you know 5'3", have a... That's like Costanet dropping 50 feet in the air, bro. That's like Costanet can dunk. 40 what and 44. So we'll go with something right in the middle. 42 inches. And in terms of vertical leap, there's actually four players in the league today who are most similar to LeBron. Anthony Edwards, Ben Simmons, Aaron Gordon, and Amen Thompson, all with vertical leaps of 41.5 inches. The next most similar players are Donovan Mitchell, John Morant, Andrew Wiggins, and Derrick Rose. Now, we have factored in play style and shot selection, but we also need to consider shooting ability. It's probably the most average aspect of LeBron's game. Throughout his career, LeBron has been a streaky shooter, better as of late than he was in his early days in the league, but all in all, just very average. And this is really important. It's one of the main things that separates him from other great wings like Durant and Kawhi, who have been excellent shooters throughout their careers. And instead of strictly using field goal percentage to measure LeBron's shooting ability, we are going to be using Crafted NBA's shooting quality metric. It's a stat that combines shooting percentage percentages with spacing and shot value to find what they describe to be the most accurate shooters in the league on a scale from 1 to 100. For context, Steph Curry clocked a perfect 100 out of 100 shooting quality rating for the past two seasons. Over his 21 seasons in the league, LeBron has a career average shooting quality rating of 61.8. And right now, the player who is almost exactly the same caliber of shooter as LeBron is Jalen Brown with a career shooting quality rating of 61.9 and a similarity score of 99.8%, followed by Rui Hachimura, Brandon Ingram, OG Ananobi, and Luka Doncic. And with one more category left, we cannot leave out the most important thing of all, how good at basketball LeBron is. A player can pass Dunks. like him, jump like him, shoot like him, but if they aren't dominating games, how similar to LeBron can they possibly be? And to measure dominance, instead of looking at accolades and accomplishments, we are going to look at purely how great they have been in their time in the NBA through the lens of an advanced metric. 
crafted plus minus. Now this metric is an aggregate of 10 other advanced metrics. It's essentially an all-in-one of all the all-in-ones. It's just what we're looking for. Is that a Mega Alcohol? career crafted plus minus I know that is a Alcohol. Which is the second highest in NBA history, only behind Michael Jordan. So what we're looking for and LeBron Bro, I know they say this is Akeem Olajuwon this is Okafor this is LeBron LeBron's career crafted plus minus is 7.66 which is the second highest in NBA history 7.66 oh yeah 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 only behind Michael Jordan so although we're looking for the most similar player to LeBron really we're looking for the best players in the league in this category and in terms of crafted plus minus that player is Nikola Jokic with a career crafted plus minus of 7.62 and a similarity score of 99.5%. Easily the most similar player to LeBron in terms of dominance. The next closest players are Chris, Chris Paul, Paul, Kawhi Leonard, James Harden, and Joel Embiid. And with that, we have assessed all 55 players across all 10 categories. Now, did so all who's this the player? crunching take me far longer than I was anticipating? Yes. Was it worth it? I think so, because in a league where there isn't anyone quite like LeBron, I think with very high accuracy, I have narrowed the search for the most LeBron-like player down to one. After scanning a field of 70 potential matches across 10 different categories and dozens of metrics, the most similar player to LeBron in the NBA today is Jimmy Butler. It's kind of crazy, right? I know. In the end, Jimmy? with an average similarity score of 80.81% across all 10 categories, finishing just ahead of Giannis and Durant and having a sizable lead on Jokic and Luka. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the player who came out on top wasn't a guy you would expect. At least for me, Jimmy Butler has not been a player that comes to mind when I think of similar- But he's ringless! Jimmy, how many rings Jimmy Butler got? Zero. Similar players to LeBron. But when looking at his scores throughout each category, turns out he is eerily similar in many ways. The only categories he didn't score well in were usage and creation and dominance, which makes sense. Butler isn't nearly the playmaker or as ball dominant as LeBron has been. And quite frankly, there's only a few players that even come close to LeBron in terms of dominance. But looking back, I think the clearest glimpse we got into just how similar Butler can be to LeBron was in the 2020 NBA Finals. Throughout this series, Jimmy Butler did a lot more facilitating than we're used to seeing from him. He was hyper-efficient from the floor, did his best jack-of-all-trades impression, averaging a very LeBron-esque 26 points, 10 rebounds, and 8 assists a game for the series. He seemed to have been much more in control of the Heat's offense, more assertive and aggressive with his possessions, getting to the line nine times a game. It almost makes you wonder, if Butler played that super high usage role more often, which he is clearly capable of doing, would what do you have a ring? What do you have a ring? What do you have a ring? Come more obvious just how similar to LeBron he really is. He has fit well within the more traditional wing position throughout his career, but if Butler were to take on the role of a point forward, would it become more apparent that his game has more than just shades of LeBron in it. It's only ironic that the series that he played most like LeBron was of course against LeBron himself. Now here are the full results from this experiment with the 70 phone call from the boss. Sorry. Outdoor time. He's not about progressive. I don't know. Not progressive. The total players involved condensed to the 55 with Lou the Dort. of the <laughs> scores. And there's a few Why is Lou Dort on the list? going on here. Giannis finished just behind Butler. Throughout his career, he has shared similarities with LeBron, but in very different ways than Butler has. Kevin Durant, of all players, came in third, which caught me by surprise. Again, not a player I would associate with LeBron's game, but the numbers say otherwise. James Harden finished in sixth, and I actually do see some similarities there, especially in their playmaking, ability to generate offense, versatility, and dominance. Ben Simmons, one of very few players to get the LeBron comp early in his career, finished all the way down in 37. The biggest difference here being that despite being a guard, Simmons cannot generate his own offense outside of 12 feet from the basket, oh, right, leading yeah. to completely different shooting splits, play styles, and usage. Visually, their games have looked similar, but in reality, outside man of man Louis? He's wearing Louis Vuitton's the media day? Usage. Visually, their games have looked similar, but in reality, outside of the size, athleticism, and passing, they actually don't have as much in common as you would think. 
Among the young guys in the league, it is Cade Cunningham who has the most in common with LeBron, finishing 17th, followed by a player who has drawn the comparison recently in Paulo Bencaro. The next closest in this group of young players are Jalen Williams, Franz Wagner, and Anthony Edwards. Now, I really wanted to add some past players into this experiment like Magic Johnson, Scottie Pippen, and Grant Hill, but many of the advanced metrics used throughout my research were not available until relatively recently. So unfortunately, with the method of measurement that I use, there just isn't enough data on these players to make an accurate assessment. Overall, it seems that, for the most part, it is the best players in the league that have the most in common with LeBron, which is interesting since there was only one metric that specifically measured dominance. But it would make sense that players that pass well, generate a lot of offense, have a high usage on good efficiency, and can defend at at least a decent level will have the most in common. Let's see, good, good passers. Uh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Uh. Eh, eh, yes. Generate a lot of offense. Eh, yeah, 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 yeah. High usage. Eh, yeah. When he wants to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's the system. <laughs> he's the system. I tell you right there, he's high usage. Eh, I guess. I guess. Yes, yes. Let's see, efficient. Yes, 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 yes. Efficient enough. Efficient enough. He's all efficient. Ball dominant. He's the system. You know he's ball dominant. He's the system. Yes, 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 yes. Not really. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Good, good. The decent defenders. Yes, yes, yeah. Eh, eh, eh. Yes. Yes, these two are getting old now, but still, you know what I'm saying? They're still good to play defense. Yes, yeah, yeah, in this prime, yeah. Go through the list of great players around the league, and they all play a very large, impactful, and versatile role on the court. And their ability to do this leads them to a style of play that is similar to LeBron's one way or another. So, there you have it. In case you were wondering who exactly is the most similar player to LeBron, the answer is Jimmy Butler. But let me know what you think. Was the method used to determine our outcome effective, or are there other metrics out there that could lead us to a more accurate conclusion? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, until next time. He just called Jimmy Butler a ringless goat. <laughs>